Hey there guys, uh, this is the first video of 2024, happy new year. Um, so I'm just down at the shed, I'm going to just try to do a quick video on what we're looking for in chin-ups at the start of the year. Um, so everyone's going to try this, beginners as well as non-beginners. Um, I think I mentioned in an email that I think I would like everyone to, those that are already doing chin-ups, to try and approach this, the start of the sessions um, of a new block with a sort of fresh pair of eyes and to try and be willing to take a step backwards in order to go forwards and progress more. So obviously with regards to squats and things like that, we'll be focusing on range of movement first and foremost, and tempo, and, and the same sort of applies to chin-ups. So one thing I noticed towards the end of the last block is that because people were getting quite determined to achieve a chin-up because they were seeing other people or their peers around them doing them, and the people started to chase them a little bit, which kind of is just part of, it's just natural, isn't it? It's a bit of com com that sort of natural competitiveness you get with your own, with your own person, with yourself. The same happens with deadlifts and squats. People start chasing the weight uh, eventually. And what tends to happen, as you know, that when you chase the weight, particularly in squats, you start to reduce your range a wee bit. You might not come down quite as low as you've, been, you've maybe been doing. And I think that was happening a little bit with chin-ups towards the end. People were sort of like, maybe not quite getting full range. Um, or they were trying to get an extra couple of reps out, we weren't getting full range. And I just wanted to go over the first and most important part of a chin-up, which is engaging the lats. And that comes back to what are you doing the movement for? It's a movement. So you're trying to train muscles um, through movements. And the bigger the range, usually the bigger or better the, the longer term results are, and the, the, the better the, the exercise is for you. Um, so with regards to chin-ups, you want to work the lats. The lats are the largest muscles in the upper body and you have to properly engage them from the start of each rep in order to get the most out of the, the exercise but also longer term if you're not engaging the lats and initiating every rep and every in the movement with them you'll be relying on smaller uh, less robust muscles to carry out the movement in particular muscles like the biceps and muscles around the forearms um, and other elbow flexors which is why people sometimes maybe get a bit of pain in their forearms or elbows if they're doing a lot of chin-ups maybe focusing too much and trying to get a chin up and they start to neglect what the purpose of the movement is in the first place which is ultimately to work the muscles in the body primarily the lats so that is what we're going to focus on um, in the first few sessions of this block is focus on getting the lat engagement which just comes from the first part of the movement itself so i'm going to quickly show you we do a few reps to demonstrate it and then i'm going to try and show you how it subtly should form the start of every rep um, whereas I think sometimes in chin-ups, a lot of folk, they initiate the rep by bending the elbow, i.e. bringing in the bicep, when actually the movement should begin without really any bicep involvement, because you need to engage the bigger muscles here, the lats first. So what we're looking for, all I like to try and do here, is you go to hand, okay, all I like to do is chest up, leave your chest, push your chest out, and just try and pull like that, and then back down. Okay, so see that movement there? That is the lat muscles engaging, getting ready to start the movement. Now obviously they can't go any further than that. That's when you then bring in other muscles like around the here and the biceps and then that's when you start pulling and then the lats can also contract and shorten as you go. But that's how the, the, each rep should be initiated. So those that are doing, let's suppose you're already doing three or four or five reps, okay? I want you to start off just doing some lat shrugs or getting the lats involved and then try and do a chin up with that focus. So a really slow, exaggerated version of it. So for example, as, as, if you're doing your first few reps, so a really slow, exaggerated version of the chin up here would be here, then you pull, okay? You come down, arms straight, and again, you're gonna engage the lats. So the lats engage first. But when it's done all one smooth movement, you might not necessarily realize or appreciate it. So you just pull, okay, that's it. Without sort of the pause to really so the lats are engaging first, um, and when you, it's maybe not so noticeable when you're just doing a normal chin up, but it is a very deliberate action that precedes the bending of the elbow, and that will ensure that the lats are the primary movers in this exercise. In long term, you get much better results because the lats will get stronger, you'll be able to do more pull ups, etc. Okay, so that's what we're going to try and focus on um, for the first couple of sessions on the chin up. Okay.